Welcome to our channel. Today we're delving into a fascinating topic. 5 Reasons Why Uneducated People Become Millionaires In the world of business and entrepreneurship, we often hear stories of individuals who, despite lacking formal education, have managed to accumulate vast fortunes. Such stories are testaments to the fact that success is not always tethered to the conventional path of education. So, how do they do it? What sets these self-made millionaires apart? Well, in today's discussion, we're going to delve into five key reasons that explain why people without a formal education often end up becoming millionaires. These reasons span from the power of persistence to the impact of networking. Each of these reasons provides a unique insight into the journey of these successful individuals and serves as a roadmap for anyone looking to emulate their success. So, buckle up for an enlightening journey into the minds of these self-made millionaires. Without further ado, let's jump into the first reason. If you are enjoying this content, and you do not want to miss future videos filled with even more tips, tricks and inspiration, hit that subscribe button now to stay tuned with us and remember to comment and share. The first reason is persistence. Many uneducated millionaires have a relentless drive to succeed, often born out of necessity. Imagine a young man working a 9-to-5 job at a restaurant. He dreams of something more, something bigger. He has an idea, a vision of a business that could change his life. He doesn't have a college degree but he is determined to make his dream a reality. So he begins to work on his idea every night after his shift, persisting despite the fatigue. This is a common trait among successful people, educated or uneducated. They persist. They pursue their dreams relentlessly, undeterred by the hurdles on their path. Consider the case of Richard Branson, the founder of Virgin Group. Branson, a high school dropout, started his first business, a magazine called Student, at the age of 16. Despite numerous setbacks and challenges, he persisted and went on to build an empire, proving that a formal education is not always a prerequisite for success. Or take the story of Andrew Carnegie, one of the richest men in history. Born into a poor family, Carnegie started working at a cotton factory at the age of 13. He was uneducated, but he had a relentless drive to succeed. He taught himself to read and write, and with sheer determination and hard work, he climbed up the ladder of success and eventually established the Carnegie Steel Company. These stories are not anomalies. They are testaments to the power of persistence. They show us that success is not always about having the right qualifications or the right connections. It's about having the drive, the determination and the resilience to keep going, no matter what. Yes, these individuals faced obstacles, they encountered setbacks, they had doors slammed in their faces, but they didn't let these roadblocks deter them. They kept going, they kept pushing, they kept dreaming, and ultimately they succeeded. Persistence is key, but it's not the only factor. Let's move on to the second reason. The second reason is innovation. Being uneducated can sometimes mean thinking outside the box and coming up with fresh ideas. Consider Richard Branson, the founder of the Virgin Group, which controls more than 400 companies. Branson struggled with dyslexia and left school at 16. His fresh perspective allowed him to see opportunities where others saw barriers. His daring approach to business and life, alongside his innovative ideas, has led to his extraordinary success. Then there's Ingvar Kamprad, the founder of IKEA. He started his journey selling matches from his bicycle at the age of five. Comprad didn't have a formal education yet he completely revolutionized the furniture industry. He introduced the concept of flat-packed furniture, which was an innovative solution that reduced costs and made furniture accessible to a wider audience. We also can't forget about Coco Chanel, the legendary fashion designer. Chanel was raised in an orphanage and had no formal education. Yet, she brought about a paradigm shift in the fashion industry with her innovative designs and redefined what it meant to be a woman in the 20th century. These are just a few examples of uneducated individuals who have become millionaires, not in spite of their lack of formal education, but perhaps because of it. They had the freedom to think differently, to challenge the status quo, and to come up with innovative solutions to problems. Their stories serve as a reminder that innovation isn't bound by the walls of a classroom or the pages of a textbook. It's about seeing the world from a different perspective, identifying gaps, and coming up with creative ways to fill them. These individuals didn't follow the beaten path, they created their own. Their innovative minds and their ability to see opportunities where others saw obstacles have been instrumental in their success. They've shown us that sometimes, 
the conventional path isn't the only way to reach the top. Innovation certainly plays a crucial role. Now, let's explore the third reason. Third on our list is risk-taking. Uneducated millionaires are often willing to take risks that others shy away from. This audacity, this daring leap into the unknown, is often what separates the wildly successful from the merely comfortable. Let's illustrate this point with a few examples. Consider those self-made millionaires who started with nothing more than a big idea and a willingness to bet it all. These individuals did not have the safety net of a formal education or a steady job to fall back on, yet they plunged headfirst into their ventures, driven by their belief in the potential of their ideas. Take, for instance, the story of a man who started a small online bookstore from his garage. He gambled everything on the then-nascent internet market. Today, that small bookstore has evolved into one of the world's largest online marketplaces. We're talking about none other than the founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. Or how about the tale of a high school dropout who co-founded a small company in a garage, a company that would go on to revolutionize personal computing? This daring risk-taker is none other than Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple. The point here is not to glorify risk for the sake of it. Instead, it's to highlight the potential rewards that can come from stepping out of one's comfort zone, from daring to dream big, and from having the courage to chase those dreams, even in the face of uncertainty and potential failure. Risk-taking is, in essence, a willingness to embrace the unknown, to accept that failure is a possibility, but to proceed anyway in the hope of achieving something greater. It's about not letting fear of failure prevent you from taking action. These self-made millionaires understood that to win big, they had to risk big. They saw opportunity where others saw uncertainty. And it was this ability to take calculated risks that helped catapult them to the heights of success. Risk-taking is indeed a game-changer. Let's proceed to the fourth reason. The fourth reason is networking. Building strong relationships can open doors to opportunities. It's not just about who you know, but who knows you and who knows about your capabilities and your potential. Building a strong network is like planting seeds, where you nurture relationships and watch them grow into opportunities. Let's take a look at some uneducated millionaires who have leveraged their networks effectively. Richard Branson, a high school dropout, built the Virgin Empire, not only through his own ambition and drive, but through his ability to connect with people. He's known for saying, succeeding in business is all about making connections. Networking isn't about schmoozing at business events or collecting business cards. It's about building genuine relationships with people who can help you grow professionally and personally. It's about learning from others, gaining new perspectives, and opening yourself up to opportunities that you might not have been aware of. Networking can take you places that degrees and formal education might not. It's the hidden job market, the unofficial business deals, the partnerships and collaborations that can spring from a casual conversation or a chance meeting. It's the power of human connection that can propel an idea into a successful business venture. In the world of business, it's often not what you know, but who you know. And more importantly, it's about who knows you and what you can do. The power of networking cannot be underestimated. Without a doubt, networking is crucial. Let's now uncover the final reason. And finally, the fifth reason is passion. Uneducated millionaires often have a deep passion for what they do. Passion is more than just a fleeting interest or a hobby. It's an intense, burning desire that propels you forward, ignites your ambition, and fuels your determination. It's the spark that sets you ablaze, the fire that keeps you going when times are tough. Consider the story of Steve Jobs. He may have dropped out of college, but his passion for technology and design led him to create Apple, one of the most successful companies in the world. Or take Richard Branson, who left school at 16, yet his passion for entrepreneurship birthed the Virgin brand, a global conglomerate spanning multiple industries. Passion is the driving force behind these success stories. It's the engine that powers the relentless pursuit of goals, the unwavering belief in one's vision. Indeed, passion is the fuel that drives success. But remember, these are not the only factors that contribute to success. These five reasons, persistence, innovation, risk-taking, networking, and passion are common traits among many uneducated millionaires, but they're not exclusive to them. Each one of us has the potential to achieve great success, regardless of our educational background. It's about leveraging our unique strengths and never giving up on our dreams. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Stay tuned for more insightful videos.